Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Comedia back with another Dokkan Battle video. So with the 300 million download celebration, starting in roughly two weeks from today, the rumors and speculation on the Dokkan subreddit, as well as the internet overall, has been going absolutely crazy. And in today's video, I thought it would be a lot of fun to compile all of the most popular theories as well as some of my personal favorites and present them to you guys since a lot of you have been asking me what I think is going to happen for this celebration. Now before we get into it, one thing I want to make very, very clear to everybody watching right now is that this video is purely for fun. It's all speculation, nothing is confirmed and I don't think anybody knows exactly what's going to happen with this celebration at least until we get that live stream on the 17th and even then we might not have all the details so what I'm trying to say is don't take it too seriously let's try to have fun with this video and uh, that's pretty much it so with that in mind guys let's jump in and the first theory I want to talk about is pretty much the most popular theory about the theme of the celebration as well as the dual Dokkan Fest we're gonna get. And most people believe that we're gonna get a Cell Saga theme celebration for the 300 million downloads. And it's gonna be a new um, Gohan unit and a new Cell unit as the dual Dokkan Fest, at least for the first part of the celebration. And the reason behind that is because of all the Cell Saga and Cell themed things that have been happening on the JP side recently. Namely, there is the new Cell Saga story event that JP got a couple weeks ago, as well as the new Prime Battle LR First Form Cell, and of course there's also the new Extreme Z Battle and Extreme Z Awakening for the STR Perfect Cell. So all of those things combined seem to indicate that Bandai is planning some kind of Cell theme celebration or Cell Saga theme celebration for 300 million downloads, but once again, nothing is confirmed so I can't say that's a fact but assuming that this very popular theory is true uh, reddit user proud cage actually came up with a pretty comprehensive breakdown or prediction of what he thinks these units are going to look like and how they're going to function and I took a look through it I think it looks very well thought out I think that it's pretty in line with what I feel like the units would work or how they would work as well so um, shout out to proud cage for putting this together and let's take a quick look. Okay, so we're gonna zoom in here. And we're gonna start from the very left, or very left, from the left side of the screen with the Gohan first. And uh, Proud Cage thinks it's gonna be a Super AGL unit. I'm not really sure what the type's gonna be. I don't think it matters too much right now. So you're gonna start off as a Super Saiyan Gohan youth, right? And of course, the art here is uh, from the Troll Gohan, so it's not gonna be that, but um, he just put it there as a stand in, it's all good. And he's going to Dokkan Awaken into a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan right here. And the leader skill prediction is going to be a dual category leader of Super Saiyan 2, which would be a new category, as well as for Hybrid Saiyans as the secondary leader skill. And I think that sounds pretty good, um, especially the Hybrid Saiyans part, to be honest. Like, of course, when it comes to the new category, he may or may not lead it's up in the air, right? Because there are a couple of different options. But for the second one, I think Hybrid Saiyans would be amazing because we definitely, definitely need a new Hybrid Saiyans leader. Um, STR Ultimate Gohan is just not cutting it. And I think 170% and 150 would be great. But even if it's like 150% across the board, it would still be a big improvement from what we have right now. So that would be awesome. And then he also transforms after three turns into... Um, I guess a more angry form or a more badass form like right here and then from there he also has an active skill which would be a attack based active skill similar to the Super Saiyan 4s and that would be the father son Kamehameha I think I'm actually blocking it my bad guys um, I don't know how I can like move this uh, you, you get the point <laughs> so it, it's, it's behind me but it says father son Kamehameha and uh, basically it raises his attack and does a ton of damage which seems pretty legit as well. And this will be available after five turns. So I believe that's five turns total, not five turns after the transformation. So he transforms on the third turn, and then on the fifth turn, you can use the active skill to activate the uh, father-son Kamehameha. Of course, it's once only, but it would be a really powerful attack. And uh, it makes sense for me. All right, so we have that. And then for the cell here, we have, you know, obviously a, like a perfect cell or maybe even a cell that's in his like second form or something like that. And then he Dokkan awakens into a different perfect cell. 
um, with the artificial life forms and transformation boost as his dual leader skill. And then he will transform again after a uh, third turn, or after the first, after three turns have passed. And then from there, you have an active skill of the full tilt solar Kamehameha. Once again, another attack based uh, active skill that will do a ton of damage. And I mean, if Gohan gets an attack based active skill, I think the Cell would also get an attack based active skill just because Bad Eye usually likes to have some kind of balance between the Duel Dokkan Fest, right? So. Uh, that all makes sense to me. I think that's pretty cool. I would, be, I would not be upset at all if that's what these units end up being. But of course, this is, once again, pure speculation. So uh, even if we do get a Gohan and a Cell, they could end up being very different units with different mechanics. But I like this. I like, I like the whole, you know, transforming and then active skill uh, mechanic or trend that we've been getting. And uh, that'd be pretty cool. So once again, shout out to Proud Cage. Reddit user Proud Cage right up here for this speculation or this prediction, and uh, I think it's really legit. So that's the first thing I wanted to talk about, guys, this dual Tolkien Fest between Cell and Gohan. And like I said, it is the most popular theory out there, um, but it could not happen. Like, there's always a chance it could be something else. So let's talk about that. What else could it be? All right, so if it's not Cell or Gohan, could it possibly be a Dragon Ball Heroes themed Dual Dokkan Fest. And this is a much uh, less popular theory. Not as many people are talking about this, but I have heard it floating around. Some people are definitely, you know, speculating or thinking that's going to be a Heroes themed celebration and a Heroes themed Dual Dokkan Fest. And the reason for that is mainly because of the timing of the global Super Dragon Ball Heroes uh, campaign that's going on right now. So obviously it's the campaign that's happening right before the 300 million downloads. And people think that the reason they decided to finally give Global this celebration and these Heroes units um, right now, right before the 300 million download celebration, is because they're prepping for a dual release of some more Heroes units or a Dokkan Fest exclusive Hero unit uh, on both sides. And I don't know how people would really feel about this. I know some people are really high on them, like me. Like me personally, I love Dragon Ball Heroes. I love the game on the Switch. I played it a crap ton of it. And uh, I like the franchise, I like the license, right? Because you can do a lot of things with it, man. You can go crazy with it. Like, they could do so many different unique characters from that franchise. For example, they could do like a Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, or like Super Saiyan 4 Bardock, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. Um, there's some really cool villains in there too, like uh, Cumber, or uh, Super Saiyan 4 Dark Broly. Or what else? I'm not even up oh, Zeno Cell with his crazy like bug transformation that he has, where he becomes absolutely massive. Like there are so many different things you could do that are really really cool from Dragon Ball Heroes, and I would not be upset if it was some kind of dual Dokkan Fest with like a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Super Saiyan 4 Vegito or something like that. And of course, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito is only possible if you make it a Heroes themed. Dual Dokkan Fest or Celebration, right? Um, so yeah, that's definitely a possibility. I don't think it's nearly as likely as the Gohan and Cell theory. Um, but of course, we're talking about all these different theories right now. That's what that's the point of the video. So I wanted to bring it up. And uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about that. Whether or not you would want to see a Heroes theme Celebration. And if so, which units would you want to see from that? Now, I don't think it's going to happen. But I do think eventually we will be getting Dokkan Fest exclusive Heroes units, but it might just be too soon for that, maybe later on in the year. Uh, I was told by my friend Anthony that um, Heroes Anniversary is in November, right? So maybe for the Heroes Anniversary in November this year, we'll get the Dokkan Fest exclusive um, Dragon Ball Heroes units as opposed to right now. But who knows? Anything is possible. Anything is on the table at the moment because we're just speculating, right? All right, moving on to the next theory now. And this one is, uh, I think, even less popular than the one I just talked about regarding the Heroes units. But I think it's actually very, very interesting. And it was um, brought up by a Reddit user by the name of AhmedKiller2015. And what he thinks is going to happen is that we're going to get a GT-themed 300 million download celebration. Um, as opposed to the Gohan and Cell, Cell saga theme celebration that a lot of people are thinking. And um, before you guys, you know, click off the video or, uh, you know, write it off as just like random speculation, he actually has some pretty good reasoning behind it. So let me take you through it. Okay, so 
he thinks that we're gonna get something like a LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta that fuses into Gogeta as one side of the celebration, and then the other side of the celebration would be a Sin Shenron that transforms into Omega Shenron. And the reason he thinks this is because the uh, past two download celebrations have actually followed the recent events of Global as opposed to the recent events of JP. So of course, like I said, a lot of people think that we're gonna get this cell theme celebration because of all the cell stuff that's happening on JP, right? But when, if you look at the 200 million download celebration and the 250 million download celebration, it actually didn't go like that. So for the 200 million download celebration, it happened right after, or it was the major celebration that happened after the second anniversary on Global, right? And what happened during the second anniversary on Global is that it was a GT theme celebration where we got the STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and the AGL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta for the first time, the two uh, 120 leads, right? And then after that, we got the 200 million download celebration, which was once again GT themed with the Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and the physical Omega Shenron um, with the to be released. If you guys don't remember, the to be released leader skills. Uh, for newer players, just quick little side note basically, at the time when these guys were released on Global, um, Global didn't have categories yet, right? So these guys actually, at, like, as uh, category leaders, actually did not have leader skills. So basically you couldn't run them as leaders. They, their, their leader skills literally just said to be released up until Global finally got categories um, implemented into the game. It, it blows my mind sometimes that that actually was a thing that actually happened, but it did happen guys. It, it's, not, it's, it's not fake, like it actually was a thing that happened on Global. Uh, but getting back to the main topic at, topic at hand. So for the 200 million download celebration, uh, there was a GT themed anniversary right before and then the download celebration came and it was a GT themed download celebration. And then for the 250 million download celebration, um, there was some other stuff going on on JP, but on Global, we were we just had the three year anniversary, right? And I think the at least the main theme of the three year anniversary was the uh, is Namek Saga, right? It's the Namek Saga theme with the Purunga and the um, the STR Gohan, like the Namek Saga Kid Gohan that gets the Extreme Z Awakening and everything like that. So uh, based off that. Then the 250 million download celebration was also a Namek themed celebration with the transforming Goku and the transforming uh, Frieza. So if we just go off the trend of at least the last two download celebrations, then you know logically the 300 million download celebration should also be a GT themed celebration with a GT themed Dual Dokkan Fest since we are just coming off the four year anniversary on Global with the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, right? Now, I think I can, you know, speak for most people, at least most global players, when I say that we don't necessarily want this. Like, of course, I want a new Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I want a new Omega Shenron, but I don't want it to happen right after the four year anniversary where we just got two Super Saiyan 4s, right? It would just be too much GT, too much Super Saiyan 4s at once, I think. So uh, while I would love to see that happen in a future, in the, uh, at a future time, um, I don't want to see it now. But you gotta agree that there is some validity to what this guy is presenting right here, man. He's got the evidence, you know, based on the last two celebrations. Um, these download celebrations typically follow what just happened, the theme that just occurred on Global as opposed to JP. And um, if that's the case, we could be getting more Dokkan Fest exclusive, new Dokkan Fest exclusive uh, GT characters, which I wouldn't hate, but like I said, I don't necessarily want to see that much right now, maybe at a future time. All right, moving on. More, more theories coming. This next one is pretty basic, pretty simple, but I think it's really, really good. And as you can see, a lot of people like it because it's got 1.3K upvotes, including mine. Basically, we're getting that live stream, right, on the 17th where they talk about the 300 million download celebration. So what Luca39 is saying is that, what if during the live stream uh, near the end, like maybe with five minutes to go, 10 minutes to go, we get an error, right? And then they will show Cell coming on the screen and announcing that the Cell games will start in 10 days after the live stream ends. Just imagine how hype that would get people. And of course, this is based off the anime where Cell took over the TV broadcast to announce to the world uh, about the, the Cell games, right? So if they did something like that, 
that'd be amazing. That is the best possible way to drop that news, to drop that bomb on people. And I really hope it's it, it happens. I really hope that he's right. But of course, he himself, Luca39, I'm sure, unless he's a Bandai spy, unless he works for Bandai, which I guess it is is a possibility. But um, I hope he's right because that would be a really, really cool thing. I would absolutely love that. So uh, yeah, I just want to show you guys that. It's a very popular theory right now um, on Reddit. And uh, fingers crossed, man. Yo, Bandai, please get creative. Let's Let's make this thing happen. And the last thing I want to talk about here is a theory from Reddit user uh, Quizotic, I think Quizotic Legends, and this is uh, actually a really good theory too. I really, really like this one. Um, so I'll take you from the very top. At the beginning, we're talking about this new STR base form Vegeta, a free-to-play base form Vegeta that just came out on JP as part of the uh, new Cell Saga story event. So he's farmable from that event, but there are a few interesting things about this Vegeta. So the first thing is that he lacks the pure Saiyans category. His only category right now is Vegeta's family. And um, that's strange because this is a base form Vegeta, right? But the reason people think that he's not gonna be, that he's not gonna stay a Vegeta and he doesn't have the pure Saiyans category is because he's, uh, Bandai is planning to Dokkan, him, Dokkan awaken him into a Trunks and Vegeta card. And since Trunks is a hybrid Saiyan, and they don't take away uh, categories from units after the Dokkan Awaken. That's why they didn't give this Vegeta a, a pu the pure Saiyans category, because it wouldn't make sense in that case, right? And of course, to back up that theory, um, the origin of this art here is actually from this panel in the manga where Vegeta is standing with Trunks. Also, this unit has the plus 4,000 to all stats in its potential, sy in its potential system, uh, just like the Prime Battle LRs, as well as LR Goku and Arale, so um, he believes that this card will Dokkan Awaken into an LR, Trunks, and Vegeta. That's not the important part though. The, the most interesting part to me, to be honest, is that he says, the real conspiracy behind all of this is that he thinks that we're going to get a free-to-play LR Goku and Gohan that mirror this uh, LR Trunks and Vegeta, since Dokkan likes to mirror Goku and Vegeta units all the time, right? Just look at the Super Saiyan 4s, uh, Majin Vegeta and Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku, and so on and so forth, right? They like to have a Goku equivalent or a Goku and Vegeta equivalent whenever possible, right? So um, there's that, and also it would fall in line with the recent events leading up to the Cell games um, slash the 300 million download celebration, right? So it all seems to line up here, and uh, in fact, <laughs> there's a really cool fan-made version of this ex exact LR by uh, the teen. That's the teen here, uh, the underscore 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 teen on Twitter. Uh, who makes amazing fan art like in general, but this is one of my favorites and it was a uh, fan-made LR concept for a LR Goku and Gohan card and this was from like uh, When was it about five five months ago? So um, This this wouldn't be the first time actually this would not be the first time that the team has made a card that has actually become an LR so um, there's also that. I don't think it really means anything, but you know, just putting that out there. So there's the card right there. I would not be upset at all if that was the card art. I think it looks legit. And uh, on top of that, what's what's more interesting is that if you guys remember, last year for the 250 million download celebration, we got a new friend summon LR, uh, which was the LR Great Saiyan 1 and 2, right? So I was speculating in my video from a couple days ago, uh, talking about what could happen for the 300 million down celebration, um, that maybe for this year we would also get a new free-to-play LR from the Fen Summon. So is it possible, is it possible that this new Fen Summon LR will be a LR Goku and um, Gohan? And the reason for that is because they want to mirror the upcoming LR Trunks and Vegeta, um, you know, so that there's a like Goku equivalent to the Vegeta LR, right? Is it possible? Yes, it's definitely possible. There's definitely a chance this could happen, but I don't think it's likely. <laughs> Let me just put that out there as well. I don't think it's very likely because Gohan and uh, Goku and Gohan as an LR card, as, like especially if their art is something like this, is just way too hype for Bandai to. Um, forego all the potential earnings, right? All the potential money they could make from that. So I don't necessarily think that we're gonna get 
a free-to-play LR Goku and Gohan, but what if, what if they still want to make an equivalent to the uh, LR Trunks and Vegeta, but instead of a free-to-play LR, we're going to get a summonable LR, instead a summonable Goku and Gohan that is um, going to be the main featured LR for the second part of the 300 million download celebration. I think that is a much more likely scenario, um, and... I wouldn't mind that either, man, because there's got to be a some kind of new LR for the second part, just like we had last year with the LR Goku and Frieza. So if this year they give us LR Goku and Gohan, that's totally cool, man. I am completely, completely okay with that. So uh, that's why I like this theory so much, because I've been thinking for a while now, yo, we should be getting another, like, well, obviously we should be getting a summable LR for... Um, the second part of the celebration, but there's also a possibility we could get another friend summon LR um, for free, like a free to place friend summon LR um, for the celebration too. So um, maybe this Goku is going to be one of those things either the free to play friend summon LR or the summable LR for part two of the celebration. Um, I don't really know. Like I said, anything's possible. <laughs> Everything's on the table until we get more information from Bandai, right? So. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. Those are all the theories I have prepared for you guys today. And, uh, that's all I really wanted to talk about. There's some crazy stuff pe being, being presented out there. These are some of my personal favorite things that I've heard, that I've seen. And just to reiterate, reiterate one more time, none of this is confirmed. None of this is 100% legit because we don't know anything for sure yet. And, uh, this video was just made for fun because... <laughs> Sometimes people like speculating and I like speculating and um, so hopefully you guys had fun with this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below which one of these theories you think is the most likely, which one you like the best, or maybe you have your own theory about what's going to happen. And if that's the case, then let me know in the comments down below as well. I would love to read them. And uh, that's it. As always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and uh that's it guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and i will see you very very soon in my next video i'm out of here hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.